The Fairchild VZ5, also known as Model M224-1, was an experimental vertical takeoff and landing aircraft developed in the 1950s. Initiated by the United States Army, the project aimed to explore various designs for vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. Fairchild Aircraft designed the VZ-5 as part of a series of experimental aircraft intended to solve problems related to vertical and short takeoff. The VZ-5 was an all-metal high-wing monoplane with a fixed tricycle undercarriage. Its unique design featured a rear-mounted General Electric turboshaft engine driving four propellers, two on each wing, and two small four-bladed tail rotors for control. The wing had conventional trailing edge flaps and ailerons, with a section that could deflect to act as a full-span flap for vertical takeoff. The aircraft was first flown tethered on the 18th of November 1959, but had limited testing before the project was abandoned. The VZ-5 was designed to be lightweight and simple, with a metal frame fuselage and a distinctive open cockpit for one pilot. The engine, a General Electric YT-58 GE-2 with 1,032 horsepower, was located in the central fuselage, connected to a complex transmission system that distributed power to the four wing-mounted propellers. The aircraft's control systems included standard rudders and ailerons for horizontal flight and tail rotors for low-speed control. The landing gear was designed to allow both normal and short takeoffs with a tail skid for increased lift during takeoff. Despite its innovative design, the VZ-5 faced significant challenges. Wind tunnel tests revealed instability issues, particularly in pitch, due to the center of gravity being too far aft. This required a substantial forward shift of the center of gravity, which was deemed impractical. Consequently, the project was abandoned after limited tethered flights confirmed the instability problems. The Fairchild VZ-5, though never achieving free flight, contributed valuable data on vertical takeoff and landing aircraft design. Its unique features, such as the deflecting wing section and complex transmission system, provided insights into the challenges and potential solutions for vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. The project's findings influenced subsequent vertical takeoff and landing aircraft designs, highlighting the importance of stability and control in such systems. In conclusion, the Fairchild VZ-5 was a pioneering effort in the development of vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Despite its limitations, the project offered critical lessons that advanced the understanding of vertical takeoff and landing technology. Its legacy lies in the data and insights it provided, which continue to inform the design of modern vertical takeoff and landing aircraft.